Hey guys, sorry for the delay. We've been uh, we've been busy with some other projects, but now we're gonna start really pumping out the tutorials for you guys. Um, we uh, actually this this tutorial we're gonna go through based on what Harry said on Twitter or on Twitter here. He tweeted us any chance of making one for the tab bars, like changing the tab icons. I said sure, why not? Let's go into that. Uh, let's take a look at what what uh, what his needs are. So what I've got, I've got the end product that uh, that I put together. Where I'm going to show you how to do this now. So you can see, as as you can see, we've got tab bar one, the first view. Put a little icon in here, which is the my bring back symbol, and then also put a little down arrow for a download, and then changed you know the tutorials down here, the words, and uh, that to download. So let's get out of the uh, tutorial, and what we're going to do is open up our Xcode and start a new tab bar application so if you open it up click the little template up here click next we're just gonna call this tab bar toot and then jump into there go ahead and save it wherever you'd like now when this opens you'll see off to the left if you've seen some of the previous tutorials you see off to the left there's a bunch of folders if you open the very first folder you'll see a bunch of different classes and uh, controllers, XIB files, which are going to be your the actual view of your iPad or iPhone application. And the one that we're going to be concerned about with the tab bar and changing that out is the main window XIB. So if you scroll around, you can see, you know, this is going to be your, your iPad application. You've got your little main template here. The way we're going to change the tab bar icons is if you go over to the left, you'll see tab bar controller. And if you click that and then scroll down to the bottom again, you'll see the tab bars popped up. And so there's, that's the template that we're going to be working with. And so as you can see from what we changed it from, we actually inserted an image here and then changed the first to a tutorials and then also a download little arrow and then wrote download there. So if you click it once, that selects the actual button area and you can see that if you click through here there's nothing so what we're gonna do is click it again but make sure you click it in the center and you'll see it just selects the first and the image there so you can see the title we can go ahead and change this and click off of it you can see it changed the tutorial for us and then we're gonna do the same thing with image now to get images in I had to actually go search what the sizes were. So you want to do that when you're actually inputting your iPad or iPhone application. Make sure your image sizes are correct, the right format. So what I did is I went to Google and I typed in size of iPad tab bar images. Lucky for us, the first link here is the iOS human interface guidelines. If you go ahead and click into there, you'll see this is Apple's, Apple's site, they're developer.apple.com, so you know it's legit. If you scroll down, you can see, you know, obviously you got some other things here, application icon. Keep going down, you'll see tab bar icon, which is optional, and that's what we're changing out right now. But you can see approximately 30 by 30 and approximately 30 by 30. Now, what do these mean here? Okay, size for iPhone and iPod Touch, size for iPad. So in our case, we're designing an iPad. Scroll down, and again, we want to be approximately 30 by 30. So not to bore you guys, I've already taken two images and uh, resized them to 30 by 30 with a PNG background. That's the other thing. If you go back here, um, let's see here. You want to search and make sure. I know it says something right here. All right here. Note, for all images and icons, the PNG format is recommended. Standard bit depth for icons and images is 24 bit. So you want to make sure you do it in the PNG so you have the transparent background in 24-bit, which is going to give the best resolution on the iPad iOS. So that's what I've already done. I've, I've uh, reformatted two images, and what I'm going to do is take those two images and add them to my supporting files. Now make sure your copy items into destination groups folder is selected, and go ahead and click, click finish there. And now all we got to do is associate the image with where we want it. So again, click this, click down here. Remember, if that's holy, if that's if all of it's selected, you have to click again to select inside. 
And for the tutorials one, we're just going to do the My Bring Back Favicon 30x30, which is that there. Double click that one there. We're going to give it a new title, download My Arrow. All right, and so that's it. So now we're just going to go ahead and run the application, make sure it all synced up correctly. And there we go. We've got, uh, we've got icons added in there with a new title for both. So hopefully that helps, Harry. Uh, there you go. All right, peace out. Don't uh, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know what you guys are looking for, and we'll try to accommodate with tutorials and help you out where we can. All right, peace out, guys.